Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Natique in Elk Grove, California, and NatiqueYarns.com coming to you live on a another cloudy day. We'll see if it rains, because yesterday they said it wasn't going to, and it totally did. I saw sunshine earlier. It comes sort out of. once in a while. It's trying. But we've got some nice clouds out there. Looks like it might rain some more. Hopefully not in a deluge, because our ground is running out of the ability to soak it up. But it's okay if it rains, just not too much. Yeah. And no wind. Right? The combination of the two is what's causing all the problems. If we would have just one or the other, we probably would have been fine. The two. We had to both. I feel like I have antenna every time with the oh. little behind <laughs> me. Like, I see it all the time on Danielle, and I'm like, they look like antenna. I, I never notice it when I'm watching. But now, I know now everybody now, right? notice. I'm wondering if I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi off because it keeps coming up very grainy. Um, Tip it down. All right, and one moment, folks. And we're back. All right. Sorry for the delay, folks. Um, my Wi-Fi was on, which was making the video very grainy because apparently Comcast is not very good quality internet but my AT&T is. Whatever. <laughs> I'm tempted, actually, then to contact AT&T about how much does their internet cost, because supposedly they have a deal with your cell phone and your internet. Oh. Hmm. Because um, I have Xfinity slash Comcast at my house, and in the weather, I keep having to turn the Wi-Fi off to get things to load. So I'm like, well, maybe I just don't want Xfinity anymore. Maybe. Maybe AT and T is better. I'll have to ask them. Is there a way to compare without buying it first? Because I don't want to buy yeah, it and right. find out and cancel <laughs> the other one and then find out it's garbage. If anybody has AT and T internet, let me know if you like it. I think we have Sure West at home. Okay. All right. Talking about our gorgeous grand prize for this time around, which is for January first through the fifteenth. Um, we have Danielle's pattern, Life Under the Sea, which is this fun um, kind of convertible cowl, making up a new term. I like it. Because um, it can be worn more of like that bandana style cowball, cowbell, cow, <laughs> cowbell. Oops. Words, words are hard. <laughs> uh, oh, I give up. Um, cowboy style cowl. <laughs> Sorry, people, I'm trying to hold still. Or it can be pulled down over your shoulders as a shoulder cozy. Um, if you like a little bit more room around your shoulders, you can cast on like 20 to 30 more stitches, multiples of 10, add in tens. That's the trick. Uh, and then you would definitely still have enough to make it even with the, just the two skeins. You just might have to do like maybe a repeat shorter in the last section, but no one would know. So we've got it paired with two beautiful skeins that are very kind of summer spring with this moss green and then the dark side of the moon from both from Alexandra the Art of Yarn. And how you get entered into the grand prize drawing is every time you make a purchase from the 1st through the 15th of January, you're going to get one entry. It's cumulative, so if you purchase five times, you get five entries. If you purchase ten times, you get ten entries. If you go crazy and purchase 25 times, you get 25 entries. Um, and then on Tuesday the 17th, because we are not here on the 16th, we will draw to see who the lucky winner is. And that includes all purchases made in person in the boutique, online at antiquearance.com, and even over the phone with us. Basically, every time you check out is an entry. Thank you. I had a reason for my glittery today. <laughs> I was like, ooh, perfect excuse to wear the glitter top. I did, because it's cool weather, wear a cami underneath it. It doesn't need one, but when you first put on stuff with beads, because they're glass beads, um, when it's cold without a cami, it's you, go, cold. you end up doing like <laughs> the, the move when you're getting in the pool and it's cold, the like, is touching me. Why is it touching me? <laughs> it takes about a minute for everything to warm up and then you can move normal again, but it takes a minute to not um, feel like 
like you're freezing to death because there's little cold dots all over your body. Beverly, if you have sound but a frozen picture, try refreshing. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I appear to have fixed my end because other than the screen doing this weird flashy green thing, it is still functioning and maybe, moving forward. Maybe somebody can type to her real quick because if she doesn't have sound, but I don't know. we have this fabulous daily prize um, of our pattern R Boost, which is a, the worsted weight version of Hedge. So if you like a bulky hat, weird, um, then you can do R Boost, which is the worsted version. We designed it with one skein of the Dream and Color um, classy cashmere, but we have paired it with the kit, a half skein of the gorgeous Hunui from Noro, which is a 100% New Zealand wool. I wish you could feel how soft it is because it it's is very soft, very like velvety. I'm telling you in Australia and New Zealand, they feed their sheep something that we don't because they have a way softer sheep than we do. So we we'll should see. go there and find out what they do, right? Okay, you have fun. Or, well, really, I would go if it's not during a certain season, which I will not True. discuss because it will creep people out. But I have a thing. Mm, yeah, about okay. Certain times of the year in Australia and New Zealand because I've seen pictures. I did not know that little fact about it. That there, but I'm I still not, want to go. I'm but yeah, going, I might. I'm not going in the summer. Might time it. It's in the summer. So okay. Fall. We'll, we'll no. time it accordingly. Fall to winter preferred. But how you get entered into the daily drawing is by doing what lots of you are already doing, interacting with the video. If you react to the video with any of these fun bubbles, then you get one entry per reaction. If you comment on the video, you get five entries per comment. And then if you share the video to your stories, to your friends, you can go to send it in Messenger, you can share it in a group. I'll tell you later, Kathy. Um, then um, you get 11 entries per share as long as you come back to that day's video and comment shared to and where. And especially if you share to groups, share it, tell us the name of the group because we get to meet lots of new fiber people. And I see in groups all the time that, you know, their LYS closed and now what am I going to do? And I'm like, you're going to go, you're going to go to Natisse because even long distance, we make a pretty good local yarn store in my not so humble opinion. <laughs> uh, so we get to reach lots of people that way. I don't know why I put the screen. Back. Yeah, I need that back. <laughs> so let's go off of yesterday's video and see who our lucky winner is. Chris Lepisto, congratulations. We know you are local, so when do you come? Next time you come in, let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet. If you win and you're not local, the next time you make a purchase, just let us know in the notes that you have a prize and we will include it in your shipment. And I can't believe we still have this color in stock. This is my favorite. Natik 7 in the fade kit. Get how pretty that is. That's definitely like our most popular <clears throat> color, so we do reorder it regularly. like to make sure we keep it in stock for peeps. I just noticed the little baby mannequin has the teddy bear. Is it a teddy bear or a cat? That's the kitty. <coughs> That's the kitty cat. Very cute. Okay. Screen's back. All right, let me pin a link for you guys for a brand new well, I don't know if it's brand new, but brand new as far as I'm concerned, art yarns that is 
like our one of our favorites, beaded silk and sequins, but this is beaded mohair and sequins. So it is basically just like the um, mohair ombres uh, being 60% silk and 40% mohair, plus it has the beautiful glass beads and sequins. It is a 50 gram skein of 114 yards. This one has the metal beads and sequins, uh, which are a really good contrast to this gorgeous color 511. I had not seen this color before. Look at that sparkle. I could just do that all day and watch it. Right? Except for, hold on, I just noticed something. What? That Iris is probably like, oh, you're dangling. Because the answer to my question is on the tag right here. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, not right now, phone. We'll call you back. Hold, please. Sparkles. Oh my God, it goes with my nails. It is a gorgeous, like, it, fiery fall color with, It goes... Like, ooh, can I go... I'm gonna... We're gonna go on a field trip, everyone. Friend. Yeah, we're gonna take a field trip here. Because I have to see it with this one and this one. And let's go with that one and that one. Okay. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. This way you guys don't get dizzy as I walk around. Oh, I should have grabbed the solid. But look, it's almost that one. Which is 719. We need a solid. Let's go see. Could go with that one. What else does it want? What do you guys want to see it paired with? The brown, gold. Oh, I think the one I wanted is not there. Oh, here we go. Okay. So there are lots of beautiful projects for the beaded mohair and sequins. Um, as well that are free with the skein. There's a link on the tag and a coupon code to type in. But I wanted to show you on Ravelry because it shows you all of the pictures. So there's this beautiful shawl done with two to three skeins, depending on what size of it you want to make person added wow. like a pico border on theirs but just some simple mesh lace divided with stockinette stitch stripes so you can basically go till you run out of yarn that's really pretty i want them to show it done like cowboy cowl style just because i think it would be really really cute um, so that is one of the free patterns then there's this cute open work scarf that is the mesh lace with garter stripes in between. That one is, see it doesn't show the yardage detail on that screen. We'll go back. Then oh, we've got wow. this gorgeous little shawl that is just a simple garter stitch triangle shawl. There is this little one skein bolero, nice and lightweight and lacy, perfect for wearing over like the strapless dresses where you just want to add a little bit. What size needle is that on? Fifteens. Wow. You could knit. That's one skein? Well, it doesn't say. That's amazing. But, well, let's look at projects and see if somebody said two skeins. Okay. Two skeins to make a super cute bolero, one skein for this cute triangle scarf. I love these little kerchief scarves that you can just, you know, throw on for a little bit of fancy. That almost looks like this color, just a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. And then this one I think is really pretty, oh, this raspberry wow. stitch mini shawl. This one would be three skeins, but look how gorgeous, fun little like 
cluster stitch, almost like a bobble with lace in between. So you're getting that contrast of a bobble and lace. Really cool texture difference. And it drapes so nice. It's really pretty. Kind of so want to do that. All six of those patterns free with the beaded mohair and silk, which we're just dabbling. So currently we just have it in this one gorgeous fall color with the pumpkin oranges. There's kind of some olive in there, some bronze, some like copper really really pretty fall colors i kind of want to do that raspberry project now that was really pretty yeah i could see you whipping that one out yeah okay and then we also got more in of one of our favorite glittery art yarns Like this one we just got more of, which is a beautiful kind of pinky red. This is H7 in Beaded Silk and Sequins Light, which is one of my favorites. This is kind of a tonal between, you can see kind of more cranberry reds to more orangey reds with the gold beads and sequins. So you're getting that high contrast shimmer And I did, um, I'll show you guys a couple colors first, but I did find lots of good like one to two skein projects for you guys because sometimes we just want a little fast project and you just want to be able to enjoy this yarn. Here, let me do this this way so the tag's right side up. We have 743, which is a really rich, vibrant, like sunset or sunrise color. There's that persimmon orange, there's gold, there's like a deep burgundy red, that vermilion pinky orange right here. And those are all intermixed into a beautiful variegated with the clear beads and sequins. There is some delay on our comments this morning. Hmm. Sorry y'all, the internet and the weather apparently don't go well together. Right, Lisa? Isn't it gorgeous? That's a very Lisa color right there. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, you guys know I can't help myself but to put like colors <laughs> together. Color 295, which is that really rich, like deep crushed velvet red. Kind of a royal, like a royal red, very blue red, not orange red. But what I like with that one is that it kind of, like, it highlights the dark in this one. Look, you can do a three color. Mm, that's pretty. If you're feeling like a good splurge this morning, you could do a three color towel really easily. That would be plenty of yardage. You know that three color cashmere cowl? Mm. I wonder if that would... I don't know. Wouldn't I wouldn't be like as that tall. A lot of yardage. It is. You could do the section smaller, but wow. Going a little softer in the palette. Color 733, which is cream and hot pink and lavender, lemon yellow. That one just covers all the bases. Right? It's got everybody, all and the Natique girls. And it's got some pastel, it's got some bright, so it's like, it's a little bit of the best of all the worlds. Then we have, kind of transition a oh, little more summery here with this like sunflower yellow. This is color 2397 with gold beads and sequins, which complement it beautifully because it really brings the depth out of that tonal color. All right, I have lots of projects this morning, so let me show you guys a couple. 
This one is a one skein cute little scarf, the home for the holidays cowl. So it's got this fun chevron spiky border. Let's see, is there one where it's laid flat so you can see the details of the stitch better? Not any of those. Let's try one of the lighter colored ones. Maybe it'll show better. Ooh, not that one. Mm. Blurry. No. Oh, here we go. So it's got this beautiful kind of almost like chevron pattern in the lace that it's a little more solid here and then lacy, solid, lacy. So you get this beautiful spiral and then the mesh lace border. You can almost make a starfish out mm -hmm. of hers. And look really one skein. Nice. On a seven even. Wow, I thought it would have been bigger. One skein, fast, fast knit. If you've never done like fancier lace like this, this is the perfect project because it's only 110 yards. So you're not committing to like one of those wedding ring shawls that are 3,000 <laughs> yards of lace weight mohair. Done that. I know that's why I said it. Then this beauty is another one of Iris's patterns. This is a two skein project done on big needles. So you're getting this really nice sheer drapey fabric. So you've got the two points down here. It even looks good in a variegated because it's just these really big diamonds or leaves. So it's not so intricate as to get lost in the colorful ones. See, size 15 needles. You Whoa. can knit this in a night or two. Ooh, look at the pretty purpley one. Nice. One more. Um, this is the silk curved scarf, which has this really fun, like on the bias crescent shawl shape going on and a really cool diamond border. Like it's got these little lace diamonds within these bigger triangles. And it can be worn like pinned in the front like this, or you can drape it more cowboy cowl style. Just a really pretty simple stitch pattern. And that one is two skeins. Lots more gorgeous colors. This is one of our Natique exclusive colorways. This is Greek Isles, which is kind of that more sh like sherbet ice cream orange, and then the olivey and spruce greens, a little sky blue with this one has the silver beads and sequins. Then we have, starting Whoa. to go a little more green. <laughs> we have 378, which is that bright, like, new growth green. Would you call it chartreuse? Almost. Yeah. Yeah. It is in that chartreuse color family. Very pretty bright green, but it is not limey. Like, it has a little bit of, like, an olivey toned down tone. Then this was one of the inspirations clubs that we were able to get more of. We have the wave, which is copper and bronze and cornflower blue. Yeah, it's pickleball-ish in its brightness, Stacey, but it is not as limey as pickleball. It's more yellow-green than green-yellow. Tennis ball? Almost, but classier. 
Not that playing tennis is not classy. No, it's I'm just, just not after the color. Think of wearing as a classy color. It's Meg color. It is. That is. That's a name. that's a neutral for my sister. I understand completely because neon rainbow everything. Yeah. Weird behavior going on with the computer today. Okay, a few more projects. One that I think a lot of our mm. peeps have done, mm -hmm. the one row lace scarf. This is potato chip knitting at its finest because it it's one row. So even with lace, it's a very memorizable pattern because it's like a four stitch repeat. And you can see it looks good in solids. It looks good in variegated because it's just these columns of mesh lace. I've done this one several times. You can kind of tuck it up like a cowl like they have here, tuck the ends in, or you can wear it more, more like a traditional scarf. You can easily do a one skein version of this one like one to two skeins, like for a full size scarf, do two skeins. If you just want like that little like ascot accent kind of look, one skein is plenty. This is one of those patterns that's also perfect for that yarn in your stash. So you're like, mm -hmm. what am I ever going to do with this? It's not going to go with mm. anything. You just knit this with it. Then this is one of our patterns. This is the Anteater Cowl, which has this really fun, like zigzag lace pattern where it digs in its eggs. Um, and it, it's just little yarn overs, either knit two togethers or SSKs. You can see it looks good when the colors are a little bit busy. Like this person double stranded two colors hmm. together because they must have had thinner yarn. Look how cute they are modeling their scarves. I love that. It even looks good in striping. Like it just gives a little hmm. bit different look, but it is gorgeous no matter what color you choose. The smallest gator size takes one skein. The longest, more infinity size takes three. Wow. That's it. I'm percolating how many I need. All of them. I know. I just Maybe half. Really didn't help. Just we're, now. we're gonna we're gonna go with half today. Then this is one of the most recent inspirations clubs. This is the Tibetan sunset with like kind of periwinkle and cornflower, a little lavender, and then you've got these gorgeous highlights of this kind of corally pink from the. It was like the sun highlighting off of the clouds. I love that she can make something this gorgeous off of a photograph. Then we have another Natik exclusive. This is Canal Dreams. Which those go very well together. Like you could almost start they an do. ombre with these yeah. because this has the kind of denim -y corn and cornflower blues, but then it has this chocolate, navy, lavender, clear beads and sequins so that the colors really pop. This is kind of one of the more speckled variegated colors versus the, like our Greek Isles is more of like solid solid sections of color whereas you can see little like speckles of pink and blue on this one it would be fun to do an ombre with different colored beads yes in the different color yarn i mean really that's why i save all of my beaded silk and sequins leftovers for sure because when i have a bag that's full enough which i'm getting close i just want to do a scarf like cast on in the round rib or seed stitch something easy and just do each color till it runs out so you get this like mm, that'd be and pretty of course you guys know me i will do it in rainbow order not random order because i cannot handle that it must go in order 
Like even sometimes when I'm laying these out, if I get one that I'm like, mm, I should have done that in a different spot. And I really <laughs> want to move it. It bugs my brain. You can move them. We don't mind. Then another one of our fabulous exclusives. This is springtime in Paris, which is rose pink and silver. There's these gorgeous like sage green speckles in there. And this one has the silver beads in sequence. This was taken off of a photo Danielle took in Paris. I love the little bit of glitter. Like you can easily use beaded silk and sequins to just add something to a project, or you can use it all by itself in a small project or even in a big project, as is shown by my top. Then getting very Daniele in colors, 7528 has kind of like almost a rhubarb purple pink but then it has that beautiful bright magenta danielle pink and then little bits of like kind of a taupe gray it's a warm gray not a cool gray with the clear beads and sequins so that it just lets this gorgeous variegated shine see what you could start building an ombre with these too like I didn't link it this morning. I didn't pull it up. Let me grab it real quick. Um, Cause our Evaness cowl. Mm, yes. Be like you could just do three colors of beaded silk and sequins. Oh my god, that would be gorgeous. And I may have enough beaded silk and sequins to do that because I'm an addict to gorgeous yarn. Okay, let me show you guys. Connoisseur. I'm okay with addict. <laughs> it's not a negative connotation. <laughs> So we originally did it with three skeins of regal silk, like mini skeins, and then a beaded silk and sequins, but you could just do three skeins of beaded silk and sequins. It's hard to see in this picture. I'll show you on Melanie's because hers is good contrast with the pink and green. You've got these stripes where you're blending the two colors together and then mesh lace and then stripes, mesh lace. Here's a pretty turquoise one. And I love putting color combos together. I would be thrilled for you guys to like call us or email us and say, can you, I want blue. Can you put together combos for me? And I'll send you pictures like that. Picking colors makes me so happy. I will do it all day long. I think that would be perfect. Then a couple other fun projects you could do. This ocean currents scarf would take two skeins. Um, it has this beautiful like rippling leaf lace pattern and a garter stitch border. Oh wow. Even in stripes it's pretty. That's really like, neat. You'd think you'd lose the stitch pattern but it makes the color ripple in such a way that it really shows off. Like here's a slightly variegated color. So really you can do it in anything. And they say 230 yards. Two bead silk and sequins is 220. Close enough. Yeah. Go till you're almost out of yarn. Do your garter border. Find off. So you'd probably get like a 6 by 48 inch scarf instead of 50. That's still plenty of gorgeousness in a scarf. Then a fun one skein one that this is one that um, is designed with one skein of beaded silk and sequins. It's a simple triangle scarf with your increases down the middle and along the edges, and then just this little mesh lace border. This was one of the Inspirations Club designs, and it only takes one skein. Then you guys have seen Karen model this one because she's done, I think, a couple different colors of it. This is mm -hmm. the 80 yard scarf very fun and easy just simple crescent shawl with these like big yarn overs before you bind off so you can create these really cool like lace picots along the edge and if all of those pins freak you out just send it to susan <laughs> i send pico projects to susan because i don't like pinning picots but i love knitting picots because they're gorgeous pico boo oh dear I think you there see? might be a pattern called that, actually. Well, there's the T, but... Hello, Roxanne. 
Okay. Continuing in the pinks, we have... Mm, there's your ombre. What Danielle refers to as beet pink, 348. Yeah, this would be perfect for the pink people. Springtime in Paris, 7528 and 348 would make a gorgeous combo. I keep kind of relinking the exclusives for you. Let's see if I could pin three links, I'd pin three links for you, but Facebook I know, is rules. I wish. <laughs> it's probably complicated in the programming. Yeah. So I'm not mad, but I would like to be able to pin two at least. Then Ooh. if you need a four color <laughs> ombre, or maybe you're like, that's too light for me. You could do Seven Natique, another one of our exclusives. This is our absolute top seller of all the colors. And you know, initially I was surprised because I didn't, I thought there were a lot of people that don't like pink, but apparently this is the right balance of the right pinks with greens. You've got that beet pink, more kind of like a rosy red pink, some orchid pink, spring green, sage. There's even this little bit of like rust color in there where the green and the pinks overlap. Right, Roxanne? Like, don't you want to just take home one of everything and like hang them on the wall? Yes. Because they're so, so gorgeous. And we're not done. No, there's more. So many more. Even though it's going to put me out of order, like I'm saving two for last because <laughs> they need to be a different link. So it's like, oh, it's, right. my brain's just going to have to be okay with it. Then we have a gorgeous, rich green. This is one of our exclusives. This is that green coffee bean that we did off of a certain coffee company's logo that shall not be mentioned because copyright. Um, but we all are coffee holics around here. We definitely frequent them and we're like, you know, that's a really pretty green. Mm -hmm. So it's this really rich, like emerald green with the clear beads and sequins. So it really just lets that rich, bold color show off. <laughs> yes, Roxanne. Anna needs color therapy after this. She might just have to buy some beaded silk and sequins to make right. herself feel better. Ooh, we could put this for the uh, Rapido cowl class. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then in 14C, one of her neon colors that are nice and bright is this gorgeous like tropical water blue, or if you're a mixed drinks person, blue carousel is like this exact same color with the clear beads and sequins because with the neon, you don't really want the color of the beads to fight. You want your bright color to stand out. Although I love the way the contrast of color on this next one is. 363, which is a gorgeous turquoise with the bronze beads and sequins. It reminds me of when you get turquoise and it has those little dark crackles in it. It's the one I used on the bottom of my one and done. Okay, one of my one and dones. No, we have a what was the color? 17 and done problem. <laughs> yeah. You used electric slide. That was it. So this color goes very nicely with electric slide. Okay, a couple more projects because there's so many good things you can do out of just a skein or two of beaded silk and sequins. One of our patterns, Rise Above, the small version uses just one skein for this beautiful, this is another like one row lace type stitch pattern, but it has these cute little like diamonds in the stitch it uses a center double decrease instead of just like a knit two together. So the small one uses just one skein of beaded silk and sequins, whereas the big one was one skein of merino cloud. I like the beaded version better though, just because it's a nice little delicate accessory. Then this cute little bandana cowl called V with a twisted rib border 
and then stockinette in the middle. I kind of like, like, if you look at the side view, the way oh, wow. they shaped it, that they kept adding some increasing in the back. So it will drape around your shoulders a little bit better. And it adds this cute little detail back here. And that one, two skeins. One more, this is another fun bandana cowl. This is brigandine with this little all over like Swiss cheese yarn over eyelet pattern. Nice and simple. And it doesn't have a lot of detail on the border, which is going to play really nicely with beaded silk and sequins. It's one of those fibers that helps prevent roly poly. And they did 140 yards, hmm. but I think you could get away with one skein because you can see they did the straight part really tall. So if you did like kind of more like the typical six inches, it would be a one skein wonder. And look, size 10 needles. Ooh, super awesome. Super fast. Okay, a couple more colors, which I gotta do one and then switch my link for you guys. But so last but not least before I switch links is this one from LYS Day, which is one of her new spot technique colorways in like lilac and cornflower and kind of this soft pinky orchid on the white background. I love the way the spots die because they end up just looking like speckles. And that one has the clear beads and sequins as well, so that the contrast does not fight the speckles. Wow. Okay. And then as my link is loading to pin for you guys, we have the two colors that go with this month's inspirations club we have in 23a with those gorgeous bronze beads and sequins i kind of just want to call them root beer because they have oh, right they do gorgeous rich shine to the beads i don't know if the contrast will stand out i don't know if it'll focus but you guys can see the highlights in the beads are gorgeous and then this gorgeous dusky purple with the same color beads and sequins. We did sell out of the fire and ice, but we are ordering more. So if you're like, I wish I'd gotten the fire and ice color in the beaded silk and sequins, just call us and we will get you set up with a special order. So when it comes in, you do not miss out. What's everybody's favorite? Uh, there we go. I think I got them all. Okay, I have one more project that could be done out of this, and then I'll show you guys what we are wearing, and we'll sign off. So this super cute cowl, the bee giving cowl, is just this simple yarn over knit two together garter mesh lace pattern. It's knit sideways, so you can really knit it any length that you want. You can see she did multiple colors. Um, but you could easily do like a one or two skein version because you just go till you run out of yarn. So by sideways, you mean like a scarf? Yeah. Knit Skinny. like a scarf yeah. and then either three needle bind off or kitchener together. I would just three needle bind off it. You put the skein yeah. on the back neck, nobody's going to see it. Easy peasy. Okay. Then we'll talk about what we are wearing, which I am wearing one of Iris's patterns, the Striped Illusion Tee, which is designed for beaded silk and sequins. It was designed for just two colors, but I had a surprise, because since it's not really my colors, I had a surprising amount of blue beaded silk and sequins in my stash. So I used the two darkest ones for color B and the three lightest ones for color A, and I just ombre them why not you just go till each color runs out yeah i did leave a little bit left over of each color because i knew there was gonna need to be some on the sleeves 
so you go till you almost run out. Have a little baby ball. And then we'll show you what Susan is wearing after we drool over that gorgeous rainbow of beaded silk and sequins for a second. Uh, my link got goofed up. There we go. This is Circle of Hope in Merino Cloud. One skein, and you could totally put it on the border here, beaded silk and sequins. Yeah, you could do that, like, basically that little butterfly border section yeah. with the beaded silk and sequins. So I showed you guys projects today that you can basically do all out of beaded silk and sequins because I feel like that gets looked over a lot, but plenty of times that you can just use it to add a border or a little glitter, like in our antithesis cowl, you use it throughout to blend sparkle through a bigger project without it all being the silk. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna be it. Um, thank you so much for watching. We'll start pulling your gorgeous glittery orders. Um, and we're open 11 to five today. We have machine knitting class from 12 to two, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day.